Yeah, hi Jayshankar. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, how are you? Fine. Uh, what about you? Too? Yeah, I'm good. So, can you share me your uh, government ID proof? I mean, can you show me? I just want to take a screen. Yeah, I'm sorry. Because I can't see the number. No, your uh, background light is coming on to my camera. Now it is okay. No, still no. No, see. Yeah, you need to come little opposite to your light. Lighting is in uh, camera direction. Yeah, now it is good. Can you show me your face? Just be like that. Just a minute. Uh, just a minute. Can you keep it little closer? Uh, number is shaking. Strike. Only strike. It is diagonal to my screen. Strike. Strike. Yeah, now it is getting clear. Just a minute, be like that. Can you try a little more closer the ID card to the camera? Yeah, now. Jashankar, uh, can you please tell me about your uh, previous project and what is the technology stack mm -hmm. and roles? Yeah, so total eight of years of experience I have uh, in IT uh, sector and uh, I started my career as a PHP developer. I start with the company CRTC. So after that, I moved to the Java. And last six years, I was working with the Java, Spring Boot, Spring Cloud, and microservices. And uh, for the database part, I worked on the MySQL, MS SQL. And for the uh, uh, DevOps tool, I used uh, Circle CI, uh, Jenkins, uh, uh, Docker, Kubernetes, and uh, uh, Jira, GitHub. Uh, and Bitbucket like that and for the domain I worked on the uh, e-commerce domain and uh, education domain and movie booking platform so in the current project we have I working on the movie booking platform there is multiple payment gateway integration in the movie booking platform like just pay atm phone pay uh, movie quick uh, uh, and uh, like that all those type of master card and there are multiple uh, third party integration like um, um, quick silver for the gift card and movie buff uh, tmdv like that for the showing of the movie detail, detail and data. Okay, so what are the technologies? Can you repeat that one you used uh, here? Sp Spring Boot, Microservice, uh, uh, Spring Cloud, uh, MySQL for the database part, and uh, Hazelcast as a uh, cache. Yeah. Okay, uh, so first thing is like uh, Java, how many years of experience? So you start, six you said like you started with PHP, six years. Mm, yeah. Yeah, okay. Total of 80 years experience, but six years of Java experience, right? Right, right. Okay. Uh, so, mm. have do you have a uh, ID you open in your uh, system right now? Yeah. Yeah, I sent you one details. Can you share your screen? Yes. Yeah, Uh, see, I have shared you names of country. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you see that uh, names of country, China is repeating two times. Uh, India is. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, so if you see the names, right, name of these countries, China is repeating two times. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. India is repeating two times, but a small i in the second time. And there is one empty also, empty name also. Yeah. Empty string. Okay. Mm -hmm. So using streams, uh, try to sort it and uh, unique uh, data I want.
So now can you explain me what you have written and uh, why you went for that operation only particularly? One second. So first I what I did uh, that I uh, I uh, check for the uh, if there is duplicate element in the um, I uh, put in the map for each of the uh, uh, element in the uh, each of the string. Then uh, I, I got a, each of the um, element in the um, order that I have the string with their count uh, how many times it occurs. Then I take the all the pieces so that uh, all the duplicate and uh, uh, all the duplicate number uh, uh, string is um, taken inside the uh, uh, that string means uh, all the key available uh, key unique key is um, printed. Inside that, I uh, check for the filter that uh, whether it is empty or not. If it is empty, then I will filter out that character. And I check for the uh, first small character. If it is in lower case, then I uh, also filter that out. Mm, that can be wrong, right? In some situations, see, think like uh, I have given Italy instead of India with mm. smaller i. I have given Italy. Mm. So uh, that doesn't mean it is not repeating, right? I mean, it is not repeating, but it is in a smaller case. So can't we go Italy. with some other things? I mean, Italy oh, instead of India. In case I'm saying not here. In case Italy, I. I T E L Y. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah, that's okay. Name okay. The first letter is like a so small it, no, Now Italy will not come, right? Yeah. You told now that it, uh, first letter with I, uh, smaller case, uh, ignore that case. Yeah, because I thought like only you are considering for India to India while comparing. No, 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 no. no. I, yeah. I, I, I have written for like if any uh, character with a uh, uh, smaller character, means starting with a smaller character, I remove that. I, uh, I, okay, I, no problem. Can you change this code for this small Italy also? It will work. Okay, okay. One second. yeah yeah, that's okay, Jason. We will go to remaining topics. Okay, sure. that's okay. You have done good job. Mm -hmm. okay. No problem. Maybe this is only one line, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll go to the next one. So, uh, you know about solid principles? Yeah. So, uh, uh, what does L stands for? Uh, is this is okay? That's okay. You can tell what is that? Uh, I mean, represents. I mean, yeah, uh, in the solid principle, uh, you can say that uh, like a uh, 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 single class having a uh, single responsibility. Suppose you are uh, you have a controller, so um, controller is communicating with the only uh, with the uh, data coming and um, uh, responding to back to the user. All the uh, uh, system like services and business logic are written in the um, uh, service layer and uh, suppose. Uh, you are validating something like uh, um, you are validating some data like user is giving like uh, user have uh, some some feature and functionality so that uh, validation it would be written in the um, uh, different classes so that's uh, and also all those things uh, suppose you need to only uh, you need to do anything you need to change then only one class is responsible for, for that okay so do you know any design patterns yeah uh, builder design pattern i know singleton uh, you know okay so where we will use this singleton uh, can you give me a real world example where in, we can use in this code pattern? writing or uh, you want me to no in a real world like uh, see there are a lot of systems in front of us yeah so um 
in real world like suppose in uh, uh, we are inserting the user uh, data in the uh, into user table right so in, in multiple of the cases uh, user don't want to uh, add addresses and content details and some of the things like uh, your date of birth and um, mm. Um, there are multiple fields but user want to uh, go with the minimum fields like your name and mobile number and uh, like this so in that case uh, what we are doing that um, we, we uh, create a builder and uh, we return the instances of all those things with the minimum number suppose user want to you want that user uh, need to uh, minimum fill his name and mobile number and that's it then uh, you put like uh, user builder dot build uh, um, name dot build uh, dot uh, uh, um, uh, yeah, mobile yeah. yeah, sorry, sorry for interruption. We can mobile, go to the mobile number topic. and that, then dot build. So it will return main object uh, based on the, your requirement. You can increase or decrease, but it will not affect uh, you. Don't need to create all the field give all the field and create a, a large constructor so that you need to fill all the, those data and then you can save the user. So this is the uh, ma ma major benefit. You need not to create all those data and give uh, give overhead to the user to fill all those data. Okay. Uh, so you said like you worked on uh, microservices, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, so what type of uh, design principle you have taken? I mean, in architecture for microservices. Um, we have used API gateway and uh, um, circuit breaker pattern uh, for the um, for the uh, um, um, for the fault tolerance. Like suppose some services is in um, uh, in uh, stage of the um, like. Uh, some services is not uh, working fine then in that case um, it is not responding in the in that case circuit breaker is getting open and go for the uh, next uh, uh, means it, it is respond like hard coded response to the user and after the uh, it will uh, uh, broken means um, uh, after after open state to it is go to the half open state and after that some request it will go pass out and then again respond uh, if response is uh, uh, is getting from the that service it will revert back to the closed state and uh, responding but if it is not in uh, not goes to the um, open state it is uh, um, it is like uh, um again go to the open state yeah that's okay uh have you do you know about anything uh this kafka topic and rabbit mq the type yeah, of things? kafka you know uh, so in the kafka you can say uh we have a producer and consumer so in that uh, uh suppose we, i need to send notification to the user we uh after ticket booking so in that case we put uh, put up all those data mm -hmm. into stream api and consumer consume that uh, data from the topic so uh, by this way you can handle kappa topic means consumer consume that okay. uh, uh, that uh, stream of uh, data and uh, from the topic and mark uh, in the offset it automatically marked that this this data is, has been used and uh, uh, that json you can use for the uh, sending uh, message that this ticket is booked uh, and you can send the, the ticket detail qr code and all those things okay so have you developed any rest apis yeah so what type of securities you have used there? JWA2 token I have used, Spring security I have used. So what is the main difference you have seen in between them? So uh, Spring security is uh, is like for, uh, suppose you want to restrict that uh, this is the uh, URL, you have to have authenticate, have to authenticate for this, uh, accessing this URL. So we are using that for the Spring security and for the role based, uh, for the role based authentication, we uh, suppose any user is uh, putting the request to the um, any um, uh, if a user is putting the request, then uh, through the JWT token uh, uh, with Prince, uh, Spring principle, we authenticate the what is the role of that user, and uh, if a role is uh, validating uh, validated, then it will pass through the uh, uh, API uh, um, for the uh, for the process like for uh, any type of the logic. Uh, it will pass through the controller and go uh, go go inside the process. So, do you know anything about caching? Uh, like a first yeah. level, second level caching. I have used Agile Cast as a case in my project. So in the in in Agile Cast case, I have used for movie sto storing movie data uh, to to uh, generate that uh, whether um, my my movie movie means in in the movie storage system uh, we uh, we run a scheduler to store all those uh, movie now showing uh, movie data uh, in the key value pair and we directly fetch from the repository instead of database. Okay. So uh, 
have you worked on any aws services aws for the um, um like development part i'm not major involvement because we don't have access for the aws server so basically no uh, ec2 instances is there and how to instances but it's not in the practice because the company is not giving access for the there is the devops team for the operation for that so that means ci cd also they are taking care of it yeah yeah so you know the difference between sql no sql yeah no sql in uh, no sql uh, you are putting the data in the manner like you have uh, id and uh, all those structural database uh, sql is but in sql you are putting the data in the form of json and uh, uh, if you want to get some through get some id so uh, in that case uh, you are taking data from the json itself in the form of json itself uh, like in mongodb we are storing data in the json format but in the uh, sql we are uh, uh, putting the data inside the uh, 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 structural manner like you have a id name and all those things which is required so in uh, multi threading hmm. so what type of hash map we can use for uh, thread safety concurrent hash map okay so can you tell me any scenario in real world where we can uh, override one other one another data while accessing the application sorry come again in real world mm-hmm. uh, while we are trying to i mean where we will get this type of exception in a real world scenario suppose so you, you are iterating concurrent hash map uh, yeah, if me. you are iterating through the data and you want that that data has to be updated inside that uh, list of the means inside the concurrent hash map so in that case if you are you if you use normal hash map then in that case it will uh, give a current concurrent uh, exception um concurrent exception is there so uh, in that case you can use concurrent hash map okay so how about front end you worked on any front end technologies i worked on the uh, react js okay react js yeah so what it makes a difference with uh, angular why react is special actually um, i don't know about much about angular but inside the uh, um uh, uh, react js what is happening that uh, um uh, we are updating the dom uh, means uh, 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 when we are working with the dom uh, we are not rendering all the dom when any thing is updated uh, uh, you need to update only those uh, uh, you need to render only those part which you have changed suppose you change the user uh, uh, interface you you um, uh, click on the user and you are up, want to update the listing of that user you only listing part you have to uh, update not all the all the other dom you need to update so basically rendering is very fast in the case of the react and you can use reducer also so that uh, so that possible. okay mm-hmm. yeah that's okay so uh, that's it from my side do you have any query no okay uh, so what's your last working day 30 this month 30 30 september right okay this month only that means 30th september yeah right okay uh, what is your preferred location gurgaon gurgaon uh gurgaon or noida is also fine though there is no issue with the gurgaon okay. okay so uh what about your uh, sprint plan how it used to be sprint Come planning on. as your ats experience guy you acted as a lead in your project yeah so how many resources under you are working yeah how many resources uh, worked under you eight eight resources eight resources yeah okay so if you are unable to uh, get the issues resolved right what you will do normally so um uh, unable to do uh, about technical issue if there is uh, i found any technical issue so i need to try um, uh, if someone is not able to uh, resolve the issue i uh, they they come to me and i need to try with the uh, various type of uh, you know sources are available to resolve uh, uh, any issue if some issue is there then i have to uh, um, like i you uh, basically in the current scenario we are using like um, uh, uh, chat gpt so um, in some of the cases this is also telling the we go through the stack overflow and all those things uh, by this way we can solve the issue yeah that's okay. uh then that's it from my side jaisinkar okay okay thank you Thank you.